Hello everyone. Three years ago, I made a video on how to draw a square in Scratch. And today, we are going to take this skill to a new level. We are going to draw different geometric shapes in Scratch, something called computational geometry. We will begin with the equilateral triangle. But before we do this, let's recall what we have done in the square problem. So these are the square codes of drawing a square. We have a repeat loop of four times, and then inside the loop, we have moved 100 steps and then turned anti-clockwise by 90 degrees. If we run this program, so we can see that the cat can draw a square in this way. If we run again, so if we draw a square in another position, we can repeat like this. So how can we modify or change this program so that it will draw an equilateral triangle? in this way. So suppose we kept the side length of the triangle to be 100 steps. Therefore, the cat we move from left to right in this way. So as we can see, the main difference of drawing a triangle instead of a square is that the cat has to rotate by a different turn angle in an anti-clockwise direction. So what should be this turn angle from this position to this position? That is, we have to find this angle. And in terms of mathematical concept, this angle is known as the exterior angle of the equilateral triangle. And now, the interior angle of an equilateral triangle is actually known to us because it will be the angle sum of triangle developed by three because all these three interior angles, they should be the same. Therefore, each interior angle will be 60 degrees. And now, finally, by the adjacent angles on the straight line, we can find this exterior angle to be 180 degrees minus the interior angle, that is 60 degrees. And therefore, we can find that this exterior angle is 120 degrees. Now, we can go back to scratch, and then we can change our turn angle in this way, from 90 to one. 20 degrees, and we have to repeat this for three times only because we are going to draw a triangle. So we can run the program again. Now the cat can successfully draw an equilateral triangle. We can increase the size or decrease the size of the triangle by modifying the both steps. Let's say if I want a bigger triangle, I can modify it to 150. Now we have a bigger triangle. If I want a smaller triangle, I can simply change the move steps to 50 and run the program again. And now this is the way to draw an equilateral triangle. So here, we're going to draw a small conclusion. So if the number of sides, let's say in a square, equals to four, then the turn angle will be 90 degrees. And now we've just found out that if we are going to draw a triangle, with three sides. Then the turn angle is final to be 120 degrees. So actually, there is a relationship between the size and the turn angle, and we are going to find out by drawing more polygons with different size. Now let's move on to the regular pentagon, a polygon with five sides. So this time, what should be our turn angle? That is the exterior angle of a regular Pentagon. So this time, do we have to find this interior angle of the pentagon again? Of course we can do this, but this will involve another, even more difficult formula. So perhaps we can think of this problem in another way. So actually, the cat has to go through a total of five identical turn angles in order to draw this regular pentagon. So this is the first turn angle and then it moved 100 steps to the second vertex. And then it turned again by the same turn angle and moved to the next vertex. And then it turned again and moved to here. And then the fourth turn angle, it will arrive at this position. And finally, the last turn angle. And then it returned to the original position. 
we can see that in the process of drawing this regular pentagon, the cat has actually rotated by 360 degrees. That is, it has gone through a round angle. So if we divide this 360 degree by 5, that is the number of sides of this polygon, then we have the turn angle, 72 degrees. Now we can go back to scratch and draw this polygon. So suppose we change back to move 100 steps, and this time we write turn angle to be 72 degrees. And we are going to repeat this for 5 times. Okay, let's draw this. Ah, we got a perfect pentacle. Again, again, and again. And now we're going to write down for a pentagon with five sides. The turn angle is actually 360 degrees divided by 5, that is 72. And actually we can repeat this formula to other polygons. Let's say for a hexagon or for a twenticon. We can easily find out this turn angle because we can simply divide 360 degrees by the number of sides. Let's say this one is 360 divided by 6, that's it, 60. No? And if we have 20 gone, so the turn angle will be 18. So if we have an angle, then the turn angle will be 360 divided by n. And actually, we have a mathematical reason for this. It is the sum of all the exterior angle of a polygon is always 360 degrees. So by using these skills, you can proceed to draw geometric shapes like a star or even a circle. So if you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. So see you in the next video. Bye-bye.